Hey everybody, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda. And today, we have a few things to do. First, I'm going to open um, some friend mail. Then I'm going to show you a purchase from Hobby Lobby I made today. I had to get out of the house. And then we're going to have what I'm going to call is Roundup Friday. Whatever projects I'm working on, um, I'm trying to get two projects done a week. Um, so whatever projects I finish or I'm in the middle of, I'm going to um, do those on Fridays. And yeah, so that's what we have for today. So the first thing I want to do is the package. Now this was supposed to come with my um, package from Froggy Went and Knitting um, with the um, crochet supply um, subscription box, but it I guess it was shipped out later, which is fine. So I'm going to open this up. My, um, I still have gout in my arm. We figured out it's gout that just erupted through my whole body. So the only one that's um, physically hurting now is my left hand or my left elbow. So I'm trying to work through that and I'm hoping it's gone within a day or two. All right. So, this is from Froggy Win and Knitting. Okay. And, oh, it's a uh, yarn bag. Or a project bag. It's made out of canvas. Oh, this is cute. It says crochet surprise on it. <clears throat> and it has uh, two pockets, one here, one here, to put like scissors or whatever you need. And there's um, a pocket, over, like another pocket over here. Is that a pocket? Yeah, but they're like divided up. And, um, to put hooks and stuff in and then find the zipper here sorry I'm being a little klutzy I'm trying to get through this without complaining too much <laughs> okay and it has this little pouch here that you could put like um, stitch markers and stuff in it has two slits in the top for um, bring your yarn through it came with a um, like a, a, a strap to hang it on something I'll try to figure out how to hang it on my wheelchair this would be a great um, little thing to have with me when I go to the doctors or whatever and then there's a whole lot of room in there to where I could put uh, maybe a medium size um, project in there with the yarn and from what I'm seeing I could probably hold up to four skeins of yarn in here which is awesome and then inside that we have a little pouch that um, we could put like extras in what I'd want to do is put like get a small pack of um, hand wipes because with summer here we you know you sweat a lot and your hands have to be clean and dry to crochet so that would be perfect to put you know essentials like that in there that I would need to crochet with so yeah I love it froggy thank you so much I am yeah I'm gonna figure out how to attach it to my wheelchair so that way um, I could take it with me when I go out and about because canvas is strong enough and the material inside it's like um I don't know. It's like rain material, kind of. I don't know what the material is called. But it'll keep it from getting soaked um, if I'm out in the rain or something. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Froggy. I'm going to use this. All right. So now I have my Hobby Lobby um, haul. Everything that I got was on sale. 
Um, oh, I have my mask. I had to buy a mask for a dollar at this um, store across the bus station today because, yeah, I forgot mine at home. Um, so you, we in chat we were discussing, you know, the the kitchen sets I'm making with um, two pot holders, two washcloths, and a dry mat, and um, the little dress that hangs over the stove. We were discussing I should have a couple of them with red, white, and blue themes uh, with July coming up, and I agree. So what I had gotten was I love this cotton, and it's the twist, and the color is monkey red. I guess that you can make a sock monkey out of this. But I thought this could be like part of the red and white in the flag. I mean, yeah, it could be used as, as for Christmas, like for a candy cane type thing. But I thought red and white for the flag would be great. And then I got dark blue, which I'm going to make the apron out of. Um, is the dark blue. And this is going to be the dress. And then I got two of the dark blue. And then I thought, because um, Crystal has a button on hers, so I thought I would put a white button. Let's see if I can get that up. So I thought I'd put a white button on the, the blue where the apron is, and that would be representation of our flag. What do you think? Should I have went with solid red and um, outlined in white, or do you think this will be cute? So let me know what you think. But I got five of the red, white, two of the blue, and I got two packs of buttons. I think this um, yarn is going to be enough to maybe make two sets, maybe. Um, the dish mats seem to be taking up a lot of yarn, so I might have to go for more red and white yarn. And that, I'm going to try to put some blue in it somehow. And then, um, i seen this book, and I had to get it. Um, I don't know if you anyone has ever heard of Francis Chen. Is it Chan? Francis Chan. And it's Letters to the Church. And I really enjoy him. I watch him on YouTube a lot. And it's uh, part of it says, um, Chan says, we strayed so far from what God calls church. We all know it. We know what we're experiencing is radically different from the church in scripture. For decades, church leaders like myself has, have lost sight of the inherent mystery of the church. We have trained people sitting in the pews to become addicted to lesser things. It's time for that to change. So I just thought this would be a very interesting read. Um, it was, um, it's regular, I'm sorry, regular $17.99. I got it for $10.19. So, I mean, it looked like a real interesting read. So I did get that. But that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to try to have a set done for Friday. I'm already working on the solid red with white. But um, the, at least one set of the red, white, and blue I want to have done by Friday uh, next week. So that way I have a, Friday, uh, a Roundup Friday every week. Just to kind of show you that I am on task. <laughs> So now I'm going to show you the two items that was finished. Um, I had decided to do a roundup because there'll be different clips at different times because when I make something, I, I have to send it out as quickly as possible. So I figured if I just take clips of everything and put them all together on Friday, there you go. So my face won't be in the picture because I'm trying to give you a closer look at the project, if that made any sense. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I got this afghan done. Let's see if we can get you. Turned out really nice. This is going to a friend for a bridal shower. I used Bag o Day's um, pattern for the sunflowers. The only thing I would change on the pattern 
because it does work up great. But on the first row of the green, I would do four chains instead of five because as you can see, these petals just want to keep going through the back. But other than that, it, it worked up great. Um, this is a solid granny square, which I do mine a little different than um, I've seen it done. Um, so maybe I'll put a tutorial on that for you. But yeah, this is um, chocolate brown and big twist and big twist of uh, buttercup. Now that is discontinued though. And then the green is varsity green and big twist. And this is Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, and Karen One Pounder. Now, um, I'm glad I had my daughter pick up two of these when I ran out the first time because I went through two and a half skeins of the One Pounder. So, yeah, that's a lot. Um, I did kind of want to show you what I did on the edges. I just wanted a simple... Um, single crochet because I know she's decorating to the likes of her husband too so I didn't want to put a fancy border on but this is the first time I've done a granny square and putting it together I guess I misjudged where to um, the corners together because what I had done is just a simple slip stitch to give it a small um, you know a, a small line to show the different squares but let's see where is that here here is it started dipping you know going across dip over so what I had done here is I did a double crochet or a um, half double 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 half double crochet to get it even and then I went back around with a single crochet so I have some tissue paper and this says uh, happily ever after I just got done washing this so I'm going to get it all together because it's about time to go and um, yeah I'll show you the end result of how I package it up okay I have it all together Dollar Tree didn't have any cards so I don't know what I'm going to do but I figured I put you know, some yellow in there for the sunflower. And I got to go upstairs and see if I have any cards that's appropriate. If not, I guess I just put an index card in there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. I'm going to see if I can get some video of her opening it so you guys can see. So. On to the next clip, next clip. So, on to the next clip. Okay, the second project I have finished is these little doggy slippers. Um, this is in Red Heart's Super Saver Buff and Black. And then the Red Heart Super Saver um, print, which is Aspen print. Um, I wanted something like camouflage on there, um, but a, at a lighter scale. And then I had to go get some black buttons for the eyes. Um, and also on the back of these... There's a little, um, little string there I crochet, um, so that way it can be adjusted to the foot size and make it a little snugger, um, make sure it fits. But, yeah, there they are. So that's two projects, finally finished, and then this week I'm going to try to get two more done. Um, I'm working on past, um, gifts for people. So that way I can get them out of here and get ready for Christmas. So 
I hope you enjoyed um, looking at these two projects. I really had a great time finishing them. These <laughs> were meant to be finished a long time ago, but every time I bought the buttons, I would lose them. I have to go buy them again. I think I lost like, I don't know, six sets of buttons in this house somewhere. So <laughs> when I find them, I'll have, definitely have enough buttons for more of these little slippers. But I think these turned out so cute. The ears drag the ground a little bit. Um, but probably once they're on a foot, they won't. But I think those turned out adorable. So, yeah, I hopefully, hopefully I can get another video out next week with two more projects. So, thanks for joining me and looking at my projects. And I will see you next time. Bye.